Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's bright and early, daily discipline, mind, body, and soul. This is how we get through Wednesday, hump day. Hope you guys are staying on your program. That's what I want to talk about today is the mind, body, and soul program. Let's just do a check-in, middle of the week, Wednesday check-in, see how you guys are doing. If anybody has any issues with any part of the program, struggling with it in any area, or maybe you're having some wins and you just want to brag about how hard you're grinding, put the comments below, but let's keep them in this topic. I know people have stuff on their mind from previous videos that I've talked about, or maybe you're really focused on politics. I'll just delete those comments because I'm not interested in that on this thread. But feel free to comment below on what you're programming with. I'll tell you what I'm having a little bit of a hard time with this week in two areas. But I'm doing it. But I'm, I'm, I'm having a mental struggle. That's really all it is, is a mental struggle. That's what a lot of staying on your program is about. It's what a lot of discipline is about. It's just, it's a mental struggle. Discipline is doing things you don't want to do, right? That's what discipline is. I don't want to do this, but I have to. And I'm a highly disciplined person. But I'm also pretty manipulative, <laughs> even with myself. I try to manipulate myself. Try to trick myself out of being productive, trick myself out of programming, out of working out, trick myself into eating cr crappy food. Oh, I have a little demon inside of me that doesn't want to do none of this. It just wants to go back and be the old version, the old me. So I've been struggling a little bit to stay on my workout program. I've done good workouts this week and I feel like I'm in good shape I'm not there yet I'm not perfect but I'm better than I used to be I heard some conflicting advice which has been kind of fucking with my head and I've been researching this as far as workout programs and I've been under the impression that it's good to switch up your workout and that's what I've been doing for years now. So what I mean is, like I, I do a push-pull legs split. So say for example, when I go in and do chest and triceps, which was the last workout that I did, a push workout. I like to change it up. So I'm not doing the exact same exercises and the exact same rep count, the exact same workout as I did the last time. And if it is the same workout, then I'll try to alter it just a little bit. But I don't want to do just the same workout every time. And I've been told by many different trainers that it's good to switch it up, to constantly switch it up, so y your muscles don't get bored of the movement. You can just do the same movement and you're, you just kind of get bored of it. You don't really feel like you're, you're doing much with it anymore. Kind of trick your muscles into, into gain, into growth. But then I was listening to a Dorian Yates. Remember Dorian Yates? Dorian Yates was super jacked steroid goon. He did all the steroids. <laughs> all of them. Which steroids did he do? He did all of them. He was so huge. And he's still around. He's just like the rest of these bodybuilders. They're nothing like they used to be. They've all gone through m massive health problems. But he's still around and he gives lots of advice online about working out and he was talking about and the guy's very knowledgeable and he was talking about how you should do the same workout every time well, that's completely different than what i've been doing <laughs> and he said if you got to stick with what works for you the only thing that you should change is the intensity and the rep count so you do more reps if you have to or maybe a little more weight if you have to maybe you go slower with your movements or faster or whatever but you know little micro changes like that but otherwise you just do the same exercises if you like a flat bench an incline bench and a decline bench and that's your chest day then do that all the time and never change that's such different advice than what I've gotten before so I've been just like well what should I do should I keep changing it up or should I stick on a one solid workout and I've asked other people that know about working out that are professional trainers and bodybuilders and athletes and they swear by either or they don't say, oh, do whatever. They say, change it up every time. 
Dorian Yates doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Or they say, definitely follow Dorian Yates. He knows exactly what he's talking about. That's exactly what you do. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Ronnie Coleman and all of them just did the same workout every week. Do that. Do what works. So I've been struggling with this. Every time I go to the gym, I'm sitting there walking up to it thinking, should I do the same workout that I always do or should I change it up? What else am I struggling with this week? Just in my head as far as my program. The nutrition has been a little bit hard this week. I've been jonesing as a drug addict term. <laughs> I don't know if people talk, use that word anymore. I've been jonesing on junk food. Junk food is a drug, absolutely, and I've been jonesing on it. I, I just think about it. And I won't be hungry for regular food, for regular food, for healthy food. I eat healthy food, I try to eat healthy, and last night I'm eating a real healthy, super healthy dinner, ugh, and I'm just eating it down like, ugh, this sucks. I know if I had gotten a bucket of KFC, I would have powered through that whole bucket. Like, oh, this is delicious. <laughs> Something about the, the massive salt and fat just really gets your saliva glands going. And I want junk food. Oh, I want it so bad. Every meal. So this is the time to not do it. I had someone tell me, well, just give yourself a, ch a cheat meal. You, don't, you, you stay so strict on your diet. Uh, let yourself go a little bit. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Because if I do that, I'll be 256 pounds again. I'll, I'll, I'll just blow it right back up. I won't be able to control myself. It's like the drugs. I can't just say, well, I really want to get high, so maybe I'll just get high a little bit today, get it out of my system, have a cheat day. <laughs> you have a cheat day, you're a fucking drug addict with a cheat day, you're still a drug addict. My dad used to talk that shit. Oh, I'm sober. He had talk, he'd even show you his little chip that he got from, from N.A. Meanwhile, he's sitting there banging up heroin. And it's like, dude, how are you sober? That doesn't look sober to me. No, when you want to cheat, when you have that little demon in you begging for junk food and to put all that shit in your body, that's the best time to resist. You got to win that fight. You can't give in. Now, I do have cheat days, but, and I use it as a reward. I would rather use my cheat day as a reward, and then it's more fun than to do it as a self-defeating, I just can't stay on my diet. Because then I'm going to sit there and eat my bucket of chicken and feel guilty as fuck. And that's a terrible feeling to, to eat and feel. You ever eat and feel guilty? I have. That's a terrible feeling. I noticed that when I eat healthy, like last night after last night's dinner, I didn't want to eat it. I really didn't. I didn't want to make it. didn't want to eat it. But after I ate it, and I forced myself to clean my plate, I didn't want to. Halfway through it, I'm like sitting here thinking, that's good enough. Forced myself to eat that crap, health food shit. Oh, I felt so much better. I felt so good afterwards. I felt the right kind of full. There's, there's, there's two different kinds of full. The right kind of full and the wrong kind of full. I felt the right kind of full. That's a good kind of full. Where you can still do stuff. You're not bloated and down, tired, you fall asleep right after you eat, because you basically just took a bunch of fucking chemicals and drugs. No, I felt invigorated after last night's meal. Went on the computer and started writing. I write books. It's one of my hobbies. And that's a third area we touch on just briefly. I hope you guys are staying up. I don't talk about this nearly enough. I do in some of my coaching calls, but maybe not enough on the videos. It's essentially important to add in a creative outlet. This is part of the mind, body, and soul program. And if you want to look at it as three different classifications, mind, body, and soul, like three different headings or chapters, this would be under the soul chapter. You express your creativity. You find a creative outlet, something creative. Become a painter, become a rock star, something, man. Something that you can express your creativity. And you do this for your own health. You do this for your own mentality. It, it helps you have a connection with God. It helps you have a connection with others. It helps you serve others. Entertainment is a part of serving others, making others happy, fulfilling their lives. There's parts, there's some songs that are incredibly important to me that I love. There's, I'm a big music fan, and there's some music out there that I have to have. It's essential to my life. I wouldn't give it up for anything. Be someone who creates 
for others. But you really do it for yourself as an emotional outlet. Men need a way to uh, dump all their emotions, a healthy way. And I could talk about creative outlets for an hour of why you should have one, but I haven't been writing as much as I usually write. I usually write every single night. Lately, I've been doing it like five nights a week, taking some nights off. And I felt guilty about it. So I got to keep myself on track. To me, writing is a therapy. I have to write. I feel so much better after I have done my creativity, even if it's just for an hour, even if I can only schedule it for an hour, a half hour, 20 minutes, anything. I feel so much better. I feel lighter. I feel happier. My particular creative outlet involve I write books about the mafia, about organized crime. They're very violent. And I have a lot of violent thoughts just swirling around my head like a stew. So it's a nice way to just get all that stuff out, put it somewhere, and not have it be in my head anymore. But I need to keep on it seven nights a week, every day. That's for me, that's my thing, every day. I need to be creative every day. And I've been taking nights off. So I don't know where you guys are at, that's where I'm at. Have a good week.